When the land is flooded, the rotting vegetation sets up a reaction with the mercury that's already naturally in the water, and it creates methylmercury. It's a lethal toxin. The fish become contaminated, and the whole food chain is affected. And in fact, humans, if they ingest too much methylmercury, can sustain brain damage. On Long Point, for instance, there's a sign warning us not to eat too much fish right now. I'm skeptical that they're going to cut the trees, for instance, cut all the bushes, cut all the willows. When that goes underwater, that naturally has to rot, and we're going to have those same methylmercury problems that we had in the Upper Churchill project. We just uh, looked on Minipi Island, for instance, and found mountain maple. The only place in Labrador where mountain maple is found, that species is going to disappear. Succeeding governments have promised that they're going to clear cut the, the flooded areas. But it, having come down the river, you can see the steep forested hills that are there. And it boggles the mind how they're proposing to clear cut that area. I'm very skeptical. There's nothing to stabilize the land and you're going to have more erosion. More erosion means more sedimentation. More sedimentation means more sandbars, uh, more turbidity in the water, which has implications for everything in the ecosystem. Right now, you can't eat the fish because it's mercury. And, and it's going to be the same thing here. It's going to be mercury-filled fish and then it's going, it's going to go on to the animals that travel on the land. So it's going to be really uh, bad for people, like my people who also live off the land. It's going to be a lot of health problems. Legends of our people spoken In the language of the land Tell of hard times and injustice Strangers would not understand As they trekked across the tundra From the highlands to the shore the promise of the land is broken And our people suffered more When I look at this river, to preserve it and to conserve it and to protect it and its natural beauty is absolutely paramount. A lot of the troubled youth in Labrador, what, what a wonderful life for them to, to learn to paddle the river, to become river keepers and to become protectors. Right now I have two sons that are in university. They say to their dad, I don't want to go out uh, caribou hunting with you. I want to go out and canoe with you. I don't want to lose that for them. This river has special meaning and significance for future generations, even if they don't know it now. This river was where their ancestors went for their livelihood. The Innu children of Labrador uh, need to have a place like this to go back to, to find their roots. You can't put a value on history and heritage and cultural opportunities, transformative kinds of things that this does. Right now we are, we are losing our culture and our children are losing the language. So we need a connection between my generation and the future generations to the land. Like it, it makes you feel good that your people were here thousands and thousands of years ago before there was any settlers or white people here in North America. Like you are part of that. To go back to an old site like where uh, my mother was just a little girl it's a tremendous feeling to know that my mother was there when she was a young girl and made me feel good, like this land, she traveled this land and it feels like you belong, you, you connect yourself to that area. When I look at the river today, I think about my grandfather traveling with his young family coming here. This river was special to him, like it is to me now. And, and it's going to be very sad when that history is taken from us, from my children and their children and, and so on. It's not just going to affect the river, it's also going to affect people. A lot of people don't know this. It's going to affect lives, especially of people who live off the land. 
There can't be a more beautiful place in the whole world. We heard the wolves at night. I saw a mother bear and three cubs on the river bank. Uh, we saw lots of evidence of moose. We saw beavers swimming across the river. It's just been a transcendent experience. It's been awesome. The scenery, but that's what fills your senses coming down the river. It's a legendary river and it's a historically significant water course and it's a real gateway into the interior. It's a, an unforgettable experience. You upset the Grand River, you upset nearly everything in this region. If we lose it, it's gone. It's gone forever. I don't want it. I never will. A lot of other people don't want to see it. The people I know in, in Shehadi, they don't want this, but nobody is listening. The logs, there's going to be a lot of cutting of logs, make money. And I say no, because it's not just going to affect the river, it's also going to affect people. A lot of people don't know this. People who want this are are uh, non Inu people. To me, it's the whole of central Labrador. This river is precious to all of us. Save it for all of the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren that come after us. There is just no way you can replace it. Please don't do it. Let her mountain shine in glory, let her unspoiled waters flow, let her children live in freedom in the valleys of the snow. Lift your voices, sons and daughters, like you've never done before. Let your song rise through the darkness. In this land called Labrador Lift your voices, sons and daughters Like you've never done before Let your song rise through the darkness In this land called Labrador In this land called Labrador